morning, friends. It is time once again to milk our goats, but today we get to do it in our new backyard milking area. First things first, we gotta go get some goats. But before we do that, we have to take a little detour over to the pig pen because we have piglets. I absolutely love watching piglets grow because they turn into little sausage rolls on toothpicks so fast and they sure love following their mommy around. All right, now off to the goat barn. Goats are very much creatures of habit. And so honestly, for the first few days, it was really difficult to get them to come over here to our new milking area. But now they've really got the new routine down, and now they run across the field to get over here. always works better if you know you actually plug it in So these two girls, London and Bella, are huge producers. They both make well over a gallon a day. And so what that means is I want them to be very well fed. Bella especially really has a hard time keeping weight just on her body. And so for those two, it's not a rationed morning meal. It's an all you can eat buffet. So I typically leave them on the stand until they're tired of being there. <laughs> So Bella here is nursing triplets. And with triplets, we've decided not to pull the babies overnight because I'm really concerned about them getting enough to eat. But thankfully, Bella is an insane producer. She makes well over a gallon a day. And so even though we're not ever separating the babies, I'm still getting at least a quart of milk from her. But the triplets are not keeping her udder very even. So every day when I milk, I do have to make sure I milk out whatever's left on both sides, which tends to be a lot on one side and a little on the other. Not too shabby considering she's feeding triplets. There's probably a quart and a half in there. Pretty good. This is super nice because I can take the milk literally right into the house when it's done, but this part's pretty great too. Look at those excellent little lawn mowers. My husband is definitely hoping we don't have to do any mowing out here this season. We'll see. And then when everyone is done milking, it's out the gate back to the pasture. All right, last step is to go release the babies so that they can spend the day with their mamas. Let's see if I beat the mamas to the barn though. They normally beat me. Oh my goodness, are you guys just dying? All right, get down pretty boy. Here come the mamas. Oh, and the babies are dying in here. All right, go get your mommies. Go get your mommies. The moms.
Where's your mommy? There she is. Such good moms. Uh, Sequoia, that's not yours. Excuse me, sir. That is not your mother. So we still have five mamas who are pregnant and due sometime, literally anytime in the next two weeks. Technically the first day when I thought they were gonna be due was yesterday, but uh, nobody's showing any signs of releasing their hostages yet. And I know it's within the next two weeks. So more babies coming soon, sometime. But in the meantime, look at these nice pregnant bellies. Do you have a nice pregnant belly too, Ruby? So all three of these girls are first fresheners. And these two ladies are our seasoned pros. And sweet Lacey here is big. Last year, Lacey had four. So I'm kind of hoping maybe just three this year, please. Four would be okay with me though. So Lacey here has all of the genetics that we're really hoping for in our new buck that we're gonna keep. So honestly, this is the one and probably only time I'm really hoping for, you know, quad boys. It would be really great, <laughs> but just this time. All right, now that everybody's fed and very happy, it's time to go to pasture to, you know, eat some more. All right, girls, let's go out. You guys got to go enjoy some grass today because we've got all this for them. Thanks for joining us as we milk today. I hope that you guys have an excellent day. And hey, thanks for watching all these videos. We enjoy sharing farm life with you guys so very much. And we love to hear from you. So please leave a comment below, anything and everything. Give us questions about the farm. Give us things you'd like to see in future videos or just give us a hey. We love to hear from you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.